Hi, I'm Linda Leon and welcome to The Author's Journeys. It gives me great pleasure from week to week to come and present you these podcasts to help you to learn the book marketing business. It's been a joy working with you for over the years and I'm so excited about this year because it's going to be different than any other. We're starting um, with principles that I have outlined in my book, Publishing and Publicity for Smart People. I am so excited about not only the book, but how it's going to lay structure into your life. What we've done the previous years on this podcast is just to give pointers and tips on marketing and uh, publicity and, and give you insight into the book industry, but it has not been in a organized format. It's, it was more like tips and things that you can use. But what I want to do this year is put structure into your life. I want to put structure in terms of book production all the way through the marketing phase, and we're going to do it step by step, and that's the way that it's laid out in the book. And so what we talked about, again, on the first week was making sure that you produce a quality book. Um, second week, we talked about making sure that you can identify your audience. It's so important to identify that audience. And then the third uh, week, we talked about learning the language of the game. It's, it's a lot of terminology that you have to become up to speed with. And we gave various ways to do that. And some through reading books, some through participating in different events, others to get connected with all the activities that are going online. Because when you write your book, you just don't want it to be something that you present to people, but you actually want to get involved and be able to be a part of the whole book world, the whole industry. And you make yourself that way by learning about the industry and you learn about it through reading and listening and engaging. And so we gave pointers on that last week. And so what I've decided to do on the um, fourth weeks when we're doing it, on week four, we're going to use that as questions and answers. And um, so I'm going to be encouraging you that if you have any questions that you would like to ask me concerning the book business, to submit them to me. Now we won't be able to get to everyone's questions and then some of them might be outside of my knowledge base and I can't answer them. But for as many as I can, I am willing to um, spend some time reading over your information and seeing what kind of questions I can answer for you. But I want to present one, since this is the first one for the year, I would like to present this one to you. What are some ways that you can market a book that doesn't cost a lot of money? That is a common question that I get asked. What are some ways that you can market a, a book that doesn't cost a lot? And I would like to encourage you to do a few things, okay? One thing I would like you to do is to connect with a group called pitchrate.com, okay? And the reason why I'm asking you to connect to that group is because they send out a um, inquiries every day with people who want information about your book. And many of those people are uh, gift givers, uh, a gift packages. They are doing different events and they're trying to find sources to put in their bags, these gift bags that they present and give them to their audience. Now, if you have, say, 10 or 12 copies of a book or more that you would like to donate to a cause like that, they put those, or, or like I said, many more if you want. You can supply every bag that they fill. But you can get your book in those packages and have your book instantly in front of people. And if you've got a good read, they're going to share that information. The only thing that's costing you is a copy of the book. And they have them all of the time on pitch rate. They, they have people who do these things seasonally. They have Christmas bag giveaways. Um, they have other people who don't do it seasonally, but they do it based on a cost that they're in. It might be the, the Cancer Foundation, and they're looking for material to put in their gift bags. That's an inexpensive way to do it. You've already got copies of your own book. You just giving a few of them away into a gift bag situation so that you can expand your marketing efforts. That's one very inexpensive way to market your book. Another very inexpensive way to market your book 
is to go online and find podcasts um, that people do and present your book to podcasters and ask them what they do interviews with you. And it's not hard to do. You know, you type in a couple of things on Google and you've got it done and you can present your information that way. Many of those people will allow you to be on the show for free. I've seen others to charge a very minimal fee of like $10 and, and you can get connected with podcasters. That's a, a really good way to get your information out there without, without it costing you anything but a little bit of time to set up the programming. Another thing you can do, which I think is a wonderful idea, is to start your own podcast. But when you start it, have a purpose in mind, not just to focus on your book, but make it something that's useful for the community, the whole podcast community, and find a way to integrate your book into the topic. Once you do that, you've got an audience that you're building and you're getting the information out there and it's not costing you anything. You, you, there are so many sources online that you can use to promote um, your own podcast for free. So I would encourage you to get involved with that. Another thing that you can do, especially if you have a book that relates to young, young children, you can set up meetings with people in the, in the, um, the school industry and become a person who comes in and reads to children. And if you become a reader, that gives you an opportunity to present your own material. And if you present your own material, that's a way you can market your book because children talk. Children go back and tell their parents what they've learned and what they want. And if they like your book, if you, especially if you have a children's book, they like your book, you can go in there and, and get the child to promote for you. I've known this to happen. You, you've known it to happen. You look on television and you can see all of the little car commercials that they have children in that tell the, the, the children tell the parents to buy a new car. Those things are highly effective. They know what they're doing when they market that way. So children have a, a way of getting to the parents like none other. So if you have a book that caters to that direction, get involved with the schools, get involved with the libraries in the schools, and then get involved with the parent teacher associations. That's a free way to do it. Um, here's another easy way to get information out about your book. There are a lot of places, um, mostly online, that do put your book here for free. They put it in like a database of free books that people can read and you can go and allow your book to be listed. Now you might not want to do your whole book. You might want to do only a portion of it. You know, let them read up to a certain point and then point them to your website to make the purchase. But you can list your book on those type of sites for free. And um, before you do, you can ask them to send you some kind of data to let you know about how many people visit the site per year to, to see if it's a worthwhile thing to do. But that's something that you can do for free. Um, many people use the, the process of only putting part of the book there and then letting people roll over to their website to read the full copy of the book. But those are great resources to bring visibility without having to pay any money. And I realize marketing can be expensive, but you have to start somewhere. And if you can start, you know, sometimes with those free resources and then build until you can gain a budget to, to do professional marketing, then that's what you need to do. And we'll see you next time.